Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome to the start of Jacked Alliance 2. I am super excited about this game. This game is rather old. However, I already played it. I played it back in the days as it got released and I really enjoyed it. It really created some amazing memories and I consider Jacked Alliance 2 as one of the best games ever made. It ranges a little bit in the region of XCOM 2, which is also a really, really amazing game. So yeah, I am excited about this and I'm even more excited about Jacked Alliance 2 as it still runs on modern computers and I can even record the gameplay. This is great. I am so excited about playing Jacked Alliance 2 again and creating a Let's Play series about the game. Just a few information before we jump right into the game. I play with Strakia Teller. Strakia Teller is basically a wrapper for Jacked Alliance 2. It allows me to play it in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio which is super important for creating videos. Also, Strakia Teller fixes lots of bugs, but it is still the Vanilla Jacked Alliance 2. In this case, we are basically playing the original game, but with a more modern aspect ratio, an aspect ratio that is suitable for creating videos. And um, yeah, one last thing, the music. The music about the music of Jacked Alliance 2 is fantastic. The music is really great. You might wonder why, Zebi? Why are you talking about music? I don't hear anything. Well, as I gave Jacked Alliance 2 a quick test run, I just did a test recording to see if everything works, and I uploaded the test recording to YouTube to see if it also looks good on YouTube. And well, I got content ID. I got content ID on this short experiment. So yeah, unfortunately, we have to enjoy Jacked Alliance 2 without music. This is really sad. This is really a thing I, yeah, don't like about YouTube, but well, we can't really do something about it. And I don't want to uh, dispute a content ID with every episode I upload to YouTube. So this, this is the only downside maybe of this playthrough, but I hope you will still enjoy the fantastic gameplay of Jacked Alliance 2. Yeah, without any further ado, let's do this. Let's start a new game and enjoy Jacked Alliance 2. Difficulty level. Difficulty of Jacked Alliance 2 is super, super high. So even on novice, the game is quite difficult. I will go for experience because an expert, the game will just throw an, a very, very huge amount of enemies at us. And yeah, experienced is still enough of a challenge. So we go for experienced. I will go for safe anytime, but I will play an honest Iron Man. So I don't want to enable the Iron Man option and I don't want to enable the dead is dead option because I am creating a Let's Play series. So there might be something going wrong with the recording. I might need to go back a few steps. Maybe something happens while I'm recording so that I do have to pause the game to pause the the recording session. And um, yeah, in this case, it is better to have just the option to save the game at any time. But yeah, if I will lose a Mac, uh, if I will use, lose a Merc, then so be it. I have to deal with it. I will be super mad at the game, at myself for losing that Merc. But yeah, I will play an honest Iron Man, so if someone dies, so be it. I just like to have the option to reload the game just in the case something goes wrong with the recording. Gun options. I will go for ton tons of guns. Normal is cool. There you have only a limited selection of uh, weapons and it's a little bit easier to find out what is the best weapon in the game. With tons of guns, things get a little bit more complicated, but I like this. And I will go for the realistic game style. In the future, I plan to play Jacked Alliance 
began, so this will be just the first season of Jack Alliance 2. And maybe in the next season we will go for sci-fi, but for now I will go for realistic, tons of guns and experienced. And so I think we are ready. I think we are ready to finally start playing Jack Alliance 2. Oh man, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Let's do this. Here we go. You have chosen experience mode. Yes, I chose this mode. Let's go. I was happy to hear you have decided to take the assignment. No doubt your inquiries have shown that I, Enrico Chivaldori, speak the truth. In the past ten years, since killing my father and framing me, my wife has inflicted great suffering upon my people. Those that may be of value to her are imprisoned, beaten and tortured. The old, the sick, even infants with birth defects are removed swiftly from the population. Now it is time to remove her. I have brought the money you requested. It is everything I have. However, Arulco is full of gold and silver, and you might be able to convince the miners to help us in the struggle. There also exists a small but determined rebel movement. They are led by a man named Miguel Cordona. If you can locate Miguel, I have written a letter for you to give him. I believe he will accept you and prove to be an invaluable ally. I wish you luck, my friend. All right. All right. Here we are. Here we are in the main menu of our laptop. We will spend some time here in uh, this interface. We got new mail. That's cool. So yeah, we can check emails, we can browse the web, we can look through some files, we can take a look at the history, we can see our personal, and we can see our financial situation, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's check the emails. We got a new email from Psych Pro Inc. We know what you're thinking. This looks like spam. But yeah, let's let's go through all the emails. So we got an email from Enrico on day one. You do not know me. However, I've been informed that you are in a position to help me. I wish to avoid divulging details of my predicament electronically and wonder whether you can meet me at your earliest convenience. Yours truly, Enrico. Further to our discussion last night, I find your terms agreeable. I will need a couple of days to raise the money. While I'm doing so, I trust you will be looking into my story and we shall be able to conclude our deal shortly. All right, RIS. As you have re requested, please find the background information on Arulco as a file attached as a file attachment to this message. Thank you for choosing our services. RIS. Attachment moved to the files area. Okay. Enrico. Confirmed. 
I'm available to meet you at Petrinska Kverna in Prague at the time and date you prescribed. I will bring the funds as required. Thank you, Enrico. And finally, the spam. Now your character. Can you be your own worst enemy? How can you best use your talents? Find out who find out who you really are at IMP, Institute for Mercenary Profiling. At IMP, we know the mercenary trait. We know the pressures you're under and we know what it takes. Advice you won't find at any Kenya's PC site. Our profiles are designed to elicit honest answers, accurate results and information you need to know. Why you need us? As professional armed servicemen, you need psychological profiling and sometimes counseling to get ahead in your profession and to use your gut and Smith Wesson given talents to the fullest potential. IMP takes you there. What you get? IMP analyzes, sci analyzes you scientifically. Ooh, I like the term as scientifically. This, this is always a good term. We look at your personality, your skills, your physical attributes, right down to voice and portrait info identification. You get a look at your character, an in-depth profile of who you are and what makes you tick. Or get clocked. How much? With this special email offer. Ooh, we got a discount. You get it all for only $3,000. A savings of $2,500 of regularly advertised prices. This is a limited offer by invitation only. Your secret activation code is XEP624. Law enforcement agencies are requested to note that this is for entertainment only. And IMP does not, in any way that can be proven in a court of law, technically, supply actually actual mercenaries. All right, so this is, I guess, what we will do at first, because with this, with the um, IMP, you can create yourself. You can create a custom merc. And this is really a thing I enjoy so much about Jack the Lines too. This feature amazed me back in the days. So over two decades ago, as I first played the game, and I still enjoy this feature. But before we do this, let's go through the files. We have the Recon Report, Recon Intelligence Services. If you don't know where to find us, we don't want your business. Okay, we uh, paid some cash and we have some information on Arulco. So Arulco facts, small third world country, very terrain and climate, one major city, capital of Meduna. Nine towns, remote and mostly rural. Two airports, Meduna, jet aircraft capable and Drassen light aircraft. Two medical facilities, Meduna and Cambria. Most of country's GDP is derived from precious metal exports, specific, specifically gold and silver. Country has some light industry, mostly located in town of Gram. Government dictatorship under the guise of a monarchy for the past 10 years. Ruler Queen Deidrena Riedmann. Most government services, including education, were terminated approximately eight years ago. So we are dealing with this small third world country and our goal is to stop Queen Date Runner. And uh, yeah, we will see if we can do so. The country also canceled all recreational and social programs, including public health and welfare. Military, substantial armed forces for a country of, this, of its size. Two infantry divisions, General Army and Queen's Guard, elite forces. Uh, Queen Diana is the supreme commander of the entire, entire military. We, they do have a relatively small air force, minimal heavy and light armament. Economy. Country is rich in natural ores. Yeah, we will exploit this. We will get lots of money as we go by taking the mines. Mining operations have been ongoing for more than 11 years. Believed to have six gold and silver mines, five of which are in current operation. Yeah, we like to take those five um, gold and silver mines so that we can get um, lots of money so that we can hire better and more mercs. Rate of ore extraction and exportation has been astron astronomical. Okay, then we get lots of uh, about the history of Arilco. There we can really get lots of background information how everything has developed. I, I really enjoy this. I really enjoy that they provide so much information. And this is also one of the great things about the game, why I consider Jack the Lines as one of the be uh, Jack the Lines 2, rather, why I consider Jack the Lines 2 as one of the guest best games ever made, because it is not only a round-based strategy game, it also 
is a great role-playing game. So you get so much background information. The voice acting is so spot on. All the mercs are unique. It is just fantastic. And there are also so many great mechanics in the combat and in the general gameplay that haven't been matched this far, I feel. And this is cool. This is so amazing. So yeah, I will enjoy this game and I hope you will enjoy this game as well. Intelligence. Unconfirmed sources claim that the four guards had been ordered to turn Enrico over to a murder rebel camp rather than deliver him to the courthouse. Queen Dadrena had been certain that Miguel would kill Enrico, thus eliminating this enemy of Enrico and the only remaining member of the Chivaldori family. All right, so there's some background information how Enrico has escaped. Recent events. Miguel Cordona, rebel force, has begun to receive outside funding to purchase the arms necessary to engage in small-scale skirmishes. Queen Dadrena cancelled the election that was due to be held in 1998. Within the same decree, she declared herself ruler for life. Two months ago, Eroko's military forces attacked a murderable base. It is believed it was totally destroyed, although there have been unconfirmed reports of survivors. Personally check, as stated previously, Enrico is dead. Therefore, no current information is available. Here at Recon Intelligence Services, we hope you are satisfied with our, res with our search result. We wish to remind you that we consider our relationship an ongoing one. If any new information becomes available, we will be more than happy to forward it to you free of charge. Should you have any other inquiries, feel free to contact us at any time. We would be pleased to extend our services to you once again. Thank you for your patronage, RIS. This is cool. And um, yeah, let's close the mailbox. Okay. AMP, not AMP, <laughs> AIM or AIM, Association of International Mercenaries. We will go there to hire some mercs, but first we will go to the Institute of Mercenary Profiling so that I can uh, create myself. XEP624, if I remember correctly. All right, the most accurate profiling system. Our patented four-step process can break any person into their main components without the aid of a mach machete. Okay. That's good that we don't need a machete. Let's begin. IMP registry. Please provide us the basic information about yourself for our confidential files. Name. Zebby learning by gaming. Nickname, of course, Zebby. And I am a male. All right. To commence actual profiling, select personality. Let's do this. IMP, personality. Unlike other quizzes that try to get you excited about ink stains on paper, our thorough assessment is designed to elicit the answers that indicate the skills you identify with most strongly. And while we know it's, ha it's a hazy concept, try to be honest. Choose answers that most closely mirror your actual thoughts, traits or desires. Trust us, we've had worse than you. Yeah, this, this is what I will do because I haven't played the game for more than 20 years and I know, I know that you can choose answers to get a specific trait, which is cool, but I don't want to do so. I want to, I, I not only want to play an honest Iron Man, I also want to be honest about myself, considering the fact that I'm a mercenary. So I will think like I would think, but here and there with a touch of, okay, I'm a mercenary. And um, yeah, let, let's begin. So I'm, I'm just excited what kind of uh, traits I will get once uh, I complete this uh, questionnaire. When you wear a kit, you most wanted to be Bruce Lee, Clint Eastwood, Rocky, Houdini, Terry Bradshaw, the president. Well, I'm not so much of a martial arts guy. Clint Eastwood is cool. Clint Eastwood is really a person I enjoy. Rocky. Uh, not so much, not so much of a boxer. Houdini also not so much of a uh, of a magician. Terry Bradshaw and the president also not that much. I think I will go for Clint Eastwood. Yes, I choose the highlighted answer. You are waiting in line at a circus, watching a punk teenager attempt to throw darts at balloons in order to win a prize. He misses the first three shots and pays for more. Apparently, after a luxurious prize, a gold nose ring for his girlfriend. After watching him for twenty minutes, what? I stayed patient for 20 minutes? Okay, uh, th this question already is wrong. 
But okay, let's go on. Um, you grow frustrated. Well, I think I would have grown frustrated after five minutes already, but okay. You have quite a bit of skill in this game. So you decide to offer him a bit of on-the-spot coaching to show him to how to throw a dart properly. Skillfully toss darts over his shoulder so that no one notices and he wins the prize. Grip him by his chain-wearing neck and stick his concrete heart, pointy purple hair spikes through the gigantic balloons he cannot seem to otherwise hit. <laughs> That's a great answer. I like that one. Kindly ask the game's other attendant if he could possibly spare a moment from his 12th pack so that, he could, that you too could play. Um, I think I wouldn't do so much on the spot coaching. Those two answers are skillfully tossed darts. No, definitely not. This this would definitely be an option to just grab him by his uh, chain wearing neck. Um, hmm. Would I give him a little bit? I mean, if I already waited for 20 minutes, I mean, I would has, have asked the other guy after five minutes. So I think I will, I will try to give him some uh, on the spot coaching just that he finally finishes uh, this game <laughs> it would be good so yeah let, let's go for this one you have just watched someone put one million into a locker at a bus station how do i know that there's a one one million but okay amazed that he just walks away albeit with a key you find yourself in a moral dilemma thankfully it does not last long you wait for the coast to clear pick the lock and take the money Clear the coast yourself. Who cares? You've got a million bucks. Blow open the lock with your gun, walk coolly out of the building and grab the first blonde you happen to pass by. Interesting option. Follow him. Under the cover of darkness, you ambush him and grab the key along with any other goodies he might be carrying. Like keys to other lockers. Call the police. Sure that something is illegal is taking place and hope for a small reward. I don't want to wouldn't pick the lock. I wouldn't just pull out my gun and blow a hole into the locker. I also wouldn't call the police. I mean, here, here comes a point. I think I, I'm a mercenary. And also I'm not sure if there's really something illegal going on. So in this case, I think as a mercenary, I would follow him and uh, get the key. Suppose you owned a pickup truck and lived in Tennessee. Okay. What is the most likely item to be displayed in the rear window? Your rack of semi-automatic hunting rifles for those really aggressive deer. That's definitely a thing. A peace sign? No. The rebel flag? Okay. A silhouette of a naked woman to complement those on your mud flaps. This is also an option. A comical character with two big old guns and the words back off in blood red letters. Huh. The comic character would be cool. Naked woman, too obvious. But considering the fact that I would in Tennessee, I think I would go for the rack of semi-automatic hunting rifles for aggressive deer. I mean, there are plenty of aggressive deer in Tennessee, I guess. So yeah, let's go for that one. A certain annoying pathetic furry purple dinosaur should be held up as a loving role model for children's moral and values. Hung from a tree, hung from a tree and shot, hung from a tree, shot, gutted and run over by a buick. What? <laughs> this escalated quickly. No, no one should do this to a purple dinosaur. I mean, it's furry, it's purple, it's path... Well, okay, it's maybe pathetic, but yeah, it's, it's furry and purple and it's a dinosaur. No, no, this thing, this thing should live forever. So held up as a loving role model. Definitely, definitely. I, I mean, I would get this thing myself, I guess. All right. You're alone and asleep in your bed at night when you hear a sound downstairs. You're certain someone is breaking into your house. In the lingering seconds between awakening and your impending heart attack, you reach for the phone and call 911. What would you most likely do next? Scream at the, tongue, at the top of your lungs until your vocal cords feel like gravel? Grab a knife and head downstairs after the intruder? Stay on the phone and hide under the bed? <laughs> okay. Realizing that you're trapped, you bolt out of the nearest exit, even if that means jumping out of the second story window. Grab your gun, begin blowing holes through the floor of your bedroom and yell, yeah, come on up and get some of this tough guy. Ha! 
<laughs> this escalated quickly again. Okay, this is great. No, I think I think as a mercenary I am in this world, I would grab a knife and head downstairs after the intruder. I mean, just giving away more position would be bad. Screaming would also be strange for a mercenary. Hiding under bed, not so much. I, the other option would be to, to get out of the window, but no, I think I would uh, sneak downstairs and see what's going on there. In the middle of a normal day in a large American city, you notice an army surplus store being looted, thinking with a dedicated lack of morals that you must be that this must be your lucky day. You rush inside. There are, however, only four things left in the store. You grab one and rush out. Which one do you grab? A brand new computer minus, of course, the necessary manuals. Who reads manuals? Who reads manuals these days? Definitely not. A complete set of survival knives with a special slicer and dicer attachment kit. Okay. Night vision goggles bundled with an illustrated guide. Daytime, the unnecessary has it. Bob, the night clerk, who's wrapped in duct tape, but otherwise okay. Uh, I think I would rescue Bob, I guess. I mean, what should I do with the... I mean, computer could be interesting, but no. Since I already went after uh, a thief who broke into my house with my own knives, I don't think that I need additional survival knives. And um, night vision goggles, I don't think so. So I think I will rescue Bob because, sure, let's, let's rescue Bob. Maybe Bob gives me something in reward like night vision goggles or so. You're applying for a job as a butcher. In an effort to give yourself the edge over other applicants, you. Demonstrate that you can skillfully wield two blades at the same time. Take a few liberties with your background, such as that high-profile and fictional position you held as a foreman at Bob's Slaughterhouse. Show up well-dressed and confident that you are the perfect candidate. Begin practicing prime cuts on neighborhood pets. What? No! <laughs> practicing prime cuts on neighborhood pets. Why? This game, this game is so crazy. Oh man. Okay, I think, I think I would just show up well-dressed and confident because, I mean, this is the best way to, to show that you are the right person when you show up well dressed and that you even when you're confident. We are only 8 of 16 questions. Man, this takes longer than anticipated. Okay, I think the first episode will be just about creating myself, I guess. But that's fine. We will have we will have lots of fun with Jack Lines too. So this will be a very, very long ongoing series, I guess. But and so yeah, just just lean back, relax, enjoy the show. And uh, find out what the next question is. Your wife is three hours late coming home and hasn't called. You didn't really notice. Tell Candy there's no rush to leave. Assume she is with someone else, no doubt a strapping 18-year-old young buck. Pace back and forth in the living room until you wear a path in the carpet. Huh, there, there lacks some background information. I mean, is this unusual? Is this a usual thing? Is, what, what is my wife doing? Is my wife working in academia? If so, then most likely she might be late because something happened, paper deadline, or a sudden meeting, a meeting that takes longer than planned. I mean, th this is a usual thing. So, and since those things can happen to me, and I mean, are, are also are we are we having some kind of a date or? Is, anything planned for the evening so that she could should call me and let me know okay wait a little bit with cooking or so i'm coming later this is just a regular day i think i wouldn't really notice not because um i i think i i mean i would notice if we are really having a date or something and she's then late but if it's a normal work day and maybe she's working in academia let's, let's assume she's working in academia or so then this might be just the the normal thing and i wouldn't really notice i would just when she shows up ask her what if it was just one of those days one of those one of those typical days at university or so so i think i will go for this one because all the others are not really not really my my thing you live next door to a college flat frat house following weekend after weekend of loud and crazy parties you Decide that, yes, you really are too old for this. Ah, uh, not so much. Really begin to doubt that your wife is having a rubber made party for the boys. Also not so much. Bribe your plumber to hook the septic tank directly into the CO2 system after installing several strategically planned Guinness signs. 
Okay. Do nothing, fearing that calling the police would only lead them to God knows what to your property. Uh, none of this? I mean, if I chose to go into an apartment next to a college frat house, then I already know that there will be craziness going on. So I wouldn't wonder about it at all. I wouldn't feel too old for this. Maybe I would just join the party or so. I don't know what why my wife is involved with the party, but okay. I also won't do this. So I guess I would just do nothing, but not because I'm afraid of what they what the students would do to my property, but simply because this is the only option I would really like. So I, I, I need a fifth option. I need a fifth option like um well I joined the party or so. But yeah, okay, I'll do nothing. But not for the reason, but okay, we can't we can't change this. Driving to work in your new sports car. Ooh, fancy. You pull up behind a young man in a minivan going approximately negative five miles per hour. Okay. You're unable to pass him and in your frustration begin to fantasize. That you press R for rocket launcher. Ooh, that would be cool. Definitely. That you could hold a class wherein you would teach people proper autobahn driving techniques. Maybe. That a ramming device <laughs> springs out of the front of your vehicle and peps his car faster. Also a great option. That every curse you're uttering could be broadcast loudly and in stereo inside his vehicle. This is a great option. Yeah, this, this would be cool. And I could just let him know about his incompetence in uh, driving a car. The psychic ray of day, what? <laughs> the psychic ray of death spins them off the road where they would be slapped by Mario Andretti, who says, "Give me a license." Uh, I think I, I go for the for the swearing approach and curse this guy to hell or so. Yeah, that, that's a great answer. Typically, you do not endorse violence. However, you would easily pay one thousand dollars to see the following fight: Jackie Chan versus John Claude Van Damme. Crocodile Dandy vs. Tatsun, Barbie vs. Godzilla, great option, the NRA vs. Congress, Mike Tyson vs. the Incredible Hulk, Bill Gates vs. Robocop, your mate vs. the defenseless line of the Washington Redskins, funny, no, really, I do endorse violence, also a great option, um, Jackie Chan vs. John claude Van Damme, well, this would be just martial arts, not that fancy, Crocodile Dandy vs. Tarzan would be, I guess, just a knife fight, Funny, but also not that great. Barbie versus Godzilla. Th this is fancy because this this is really those are two two fighters that are so different. They both, I guess, do have so many different skills and abilities. So this would be entertaining, I guess. The NRA versus Congress. Well, not so much. Mike Tyson versus the Incredible Hulk. So okay, we get a fist fight. Not that great. Bill Gates versus Robocop. Um, Similar to Barbie vs. Godzilla, but not as funny because, I mean, those two are are more or less belonging to computer science and so on. So, well, your mate vs. the defensive line of the Washington Redskins. This could be fun. No, I, really, I do endorse violence. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm a merc, but no, I think I'll go for Bar Barbie vs. Godzilla. Th this is a great option. During the summer, you generally think, and that's more than you can say for yourself in the other seasons. Ha! <laughs> Great. Great answer. Definitely that one. That your children will, any down now, drive you completely insane and you're close already. Well, I think this does not depend on the season. This is just because they are children. That this fashion trend towards less is more is a very good thing. Definitely. Th that's the answer. It's too damn hot. No, no, no. I, I go for this fashion. Tr uh, that this fashion trend towards less is more is a very good thing. Yeah, that's, that's really a good thing. All right. There's very little you would not do willingly except sit in a window seat of a small airplane as you circle in a holding pattern for two hours, even if the captain assures you that the plane has plenty of fuel and the weather is good. Ever admit that once, just once, you were turned on by a comic book character. Spend a week walking through the desert, even if you knew that the woman of your dreams would be on the other side. Soft air development. I have absolutely no issue sitting in a small airplane, so I would do that. 
I would also admit that I would be turned on by a comic book character. Not a problem with that. Spend a week walking through the desert. Well, not my favorite option, but would do this too. I mean, especially when I could meet the woman of my dreams at the end of the desert, so definitely do that. Software development is really nasty. Software development can be a great thing, but can be also just a huge pain, so I would never do software development. Yes, that's my answer. If you were a major league baseball player, you would be best known for your accurate pitching, switch hitting, enormous bet, outlandish request for a bit of bigger salary. I mean, who can really scrape by on a million a year these days? Well, I'm more of an endurance athlete, so cycling, swimming, running, all this, sure, but baseball? No. So if I would need to go for to baseball as an endurance athlete, then of course I would ask for lots of money because why should I go do anything of those things? That's that's not my type of game. So yes, I, I like to have mo lots of money. You're on a commercial jetliner which crashes in a remote mountain range. Half the passengers survive the impact. Fortunately, you're one of them. Being the leader that you are, you. Gather the survivors and announce that you will lead a team down the mountainside to seek help. Concerned with starvation, declare yourself chef and send a team to see the heavy set woman you spotted earlier and first class survived. Ha! <laughs> oh man, this, <laughs> this game! Uh, gather the survivors around the wreckage and light the re what remains of the fuel tanks. As the fire grows in intensity, you repeatedly you ye you yell repeatedly, Why prolong it? Also an option. Hunt down the bar cart. Finding it attacked, you organize one last drunken blowout before everyone freezes to death. Can can I combine four and one? Just hunt down the bar cart, grab some uh, bottles of liquor, and then start to uh, head down the mountainside. I think things endurance athlete. I enjoy hiking. I I will just try to go hiking and um, get back to civilization. So yeah, th this is my answer. Have you answered all? these questions to the best of your ability and as honestly as you could. Yes, definitely. We 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 took our time to answer them. And wow, this this really will fill the entire episode, I guess. You are very sure of yourself. Impressive. Thank you. Most accurate profiling system. Now that you have completed personality, select your attributes. An average Merc ranks at ranks in at 55 in all attributes and skills, while 100 is top of the line. The absolute min minimum for attributes is 35. Below that, you sort of fail to do basic things, well, like log on this website, for instance. Skills, on the other hand, have a proficient or not minimum. You either have some talent, a minimum of 35, or you have none at all. Zero. You cannot be slightly skilled in this business. No, I just take the engines apart. I don't actually know how to put them back together. Tell us where do your physical strengths and weaknesses lie. What are your skills? Okay. Please adjust your physical attributes as compared to that of an average Merc. Scores above 85 are not allowed. Come on, they are Hercules. Get honest with yourself. All right, I definitely like to have wisdom. I like to have wisdom because with wisdom you quickly um, improve your abilities. So wisdom definitely is the thing I need. Dexterity and agility is also important. Let's let's just go for. Oh, I'm already at zero. Okay. Um, mechanical. I don't want mechanical. And explosive. I also don't want explosive. Medical is okay. I like to go for 35. So okay, we have now 90 points to spend. Let's go maybe for 80 marksmanship. I mean, with wisdom, it will level up quickly. Leadership. Let's bring it down to 35 for now. Dexterity is important. Let's go maybe for 80. Agility is important. Let's go for 80. Health is important. Let's go for 82. And strength is okay -ish, but not that important. Yeah, I think I think this is what I like to go. I mean, I like to be rather average on health, dexterity, and agility. Marksmanship is important. Strength not so important. Wisdom the most important skill because, as I just said, uh, with higher wisdom you quickly 
or it's faster to get higher higher uh, attributes and skills so let's go for this leadership is okay medical is okay explosive mechanical i think i can hire other mercs for it and i like to be able to at least bandage myself in a worst case situation so yeah i think i will go for this approach this sounds good but do i like to increase marksmanship even further no i think i will go for this i think that this is fine do your skill and attribute settings reflect how you see yourself? Yes, I'm certain. All right. The most accurate profiling system with attributes now allocated, you can proceed to portrait selection. Okay, let's see. What portraits do we have available? The portrait that you most identify with will tell us much about how you perceive yourself and is important for a complete scientific analysis. Really? Scientific? Once again, scientific? Okay. Please choose one. Um... Maybe. Mm, well, I don't like the beard, but hair is okay. Weird. Too, too soft. Too grumpy. Too badass. Too what? What? <laughs> okay, so it's either this or that guy. I think I go for this guy. Let, let's use this one. Voice. Time for the enemy to say its prayers. Listen carefully to, differ, to the different scientifically analyzed voices, okay, to and determine which one you identify with the most. We have some inconveniences to dispose of. Time to take out the trash. Time for the enemy to say its prayers. We have some inconveniences to dispose of. I think I go for voice two. All right, I think, are you, satisfied, are you satisfied with all your selections? To review them, select the appropriate button below. No, I'm, I'm fine. I mean, we, we spent already <laughs> most of this episode with this quiz, but that's fine. Okay, let, let's do this. I'm fine. I'm completely fine. Institute for Mercenary Profi Profiling. Even as you read this, your profile answers are being compiled and analyzed by a team of mercenary profiling professionals. You should receive an email containing the results within the next 48 to 72 hours. Do you authorize the $3,000 payment? Yes, I do. All right, cool. So I created myself. Let's take a look at myself. Um, that's my face. Okay, here are our selected skills. Experience level one. Okay, I'm night ops and stealthy. The cool, cool abilities. And of course we haven't done much. Okay, so that's that's myself. Now let's go to aim. Warning, you must be at least 18 years old of sane mind and have no more than two felony convictions in any given country. Or it can carry weight. Advertise with aim, okay. A country to gain access to the site, okay. So here we can... Uh, take a look at all members so we can review them review the uh, files we can browse the um, AM alumni gallery I think they are there all those I think those were were part of the other direct alliance games and are no longer no longer with us but here there we can go to through them we can take a look at all the mercenaries we will do so in uh, just a second and see who we will hire and we can take a look at the policies um, I think I just agree with the policies there we do have all the the terms of payment engagement and um, other divisions so this is cool we also do have some links so Bobby Ray's guns and things here under construction here we can later on uh, order some uh, some stuff which is pretty cool we can um, Gilly Cutty's Mortuary. Here we can uh, send flowers. We can uh, prepare some uh, some f funerals, and we can send flowers, which we will do maybe later on. And finally, Mellows, Incas, and Stapes Insurance Brokers. 
Um, do you employ individuals for high risk short term contracts? Does a high fatality rate go hand in hand with your line of work? Do you drain your entire salary budget before the job gets done? If you answered all yes to any of the above uh, of the above questions, you should be ta talking with us. Comments from our most valuable clients. How does insurance work to enter review an insurance contract? Unfortunately, our records indicate you do not have any personnel in your employ. You are in your employ who would qualify for insurance under our policies. Currently, our only agreement is with the AIM organization and we cannot insure any non-affiliated personnel. All right, maybe we can um, insure um, insurance, do, do an insurance for some works later. For now, let's just see. We do have 32,000. Do have 32,000. Um, Let's just start with with bolts wisdom rather low health health and strength is good marksmanship not that impressive medical okay let's no no this is the wrong direction I don't want to go for the most expensive Dr Michael Dawson wisdom ninety four this is good good medic marksmanship not that great maybe maybe Dr Michael Dawson Igor Dolvich, good wisdom, overall good abilities, marksmanship is all right. And Igor and Ivan are already being referred at the Russian I team. Yeah, I later on like to go for for um, Ivan. So maybe Igor, Barry, high wisdom, explosives very good, mechanical rather okay. Strength good. Yeah, may maybe I go also for Barry. Grizzly. Wisdom not that great. Marksmanship all right. Strength is nice. Grunty. Wisdom not so much. Health. Marksmanship all right. He's, he's a good all-rounder. But wisdom is not that great. So he has not that, that potential to develop. On assignment, unfortunately. Buns, 86, 90, oh, bun, Buns would be so perfect, but she's on assignment. Can I? You've reached my video voicemail. Leave me a message. And Gumpy, if this is you, leave another message like the last one, and I'll send you a reply that explodes on impact. I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe we'll leave a message. Uh, meltdown, 82. My hmm, this is not bad. Explosive medical, maybe meltdown. Steroid, wisdom rather low, strength, health high, marksmanship also high, but not much potential. Mechanical good, but I think I go for 90 wisdom, medical, explosive mechanical, marksmanship. Hmm, spider, spider might be good. Spider might be our, our medic. Let's consider her blood. Wisdom, marksmanship. Hmm, okay. Wretch. Explosives. Ooh. Now we're getting into the more expensive category. Hitman is nice. La Malice. 55 wisdom. Okay, definitely not. Dr. Q Huang. 91 wisdom, medical pretty good, maximum shipping, dexterity, health, Dr. Q. Huh. Wolf. Ooh. Did already a nice rifle. One week, maybe we could. 76. Marksmanship is great. Maybe Wolf. Wolf would be also an option. Dr. Daniel Quinton. 91. Marksmanship not that great. Health, dexterity, medical is good. Hmm. Ice Williams.
Fidel. Wisdom 71. Marksmanship is good. Explosive is good. Nails. Leather jacket. Okay, nice. Okay, now we are really getting expensive. Okay, let's... Um, let's not... Oh, this episode takes takes longer than, uh, than I anticipated. Okay, let's go back. Let's... Uh, I like to have, I think, Igor, Barry... Igor, Barry... Spider, Wolf... Definitely Wolf. Wolf was pretty good. Spider is pretty good. Eager, and then it's either Eager or Berry, I guess. Rather Berry. Let's start with... With the yeah, Denny. 91. Eight thousand one week. We go back. Spider, it's five. Okay, we would save some money. I think I'll go for for Spider as she's pretty good in medic. The other abilities can quickly go up. Or will I go for hmm? Okay, hmm. No, I think I will go for, for Spider here. Let's contact her. Dr. Houston, how may I help you? Hi. Um, I'm here for contacting you for going to El Urco. I'm not trying to sound morbid, but I really do enjoy field work. Okay, so you seem perfect. Okay, we should talk about how long a contract you had in mind. Um, 7,300, yeah, that's fine for one week. Equipment, yes, we need, okay. All right, everything seems to be in order. I'll report for duty. Nice. Okay, we got spider, wolf. Wolf would be interesting. Let, let's see if I could. He's also good at rather okay with mechanical. He's, he's a pretty good all-rounder, which I really like. And get do we get some information? No, but but let's let's contact Wolf. Wolf here. Hi, Wolf. It's Zebby. Do you want to join us for a roll call? Nobody does anything like I do. Okay, so I guess you will. What kind of time frame do you have in mind? Twelve thousand four hundred. Okay, uh, this we can afford. Yes, we need the equipment. One week is fine. Can't wait to get there. Okay, cool. See you in a bit. Then... Barry. I think I like to get Barry. Because he is pretty good with explosives. So, yeah, let, let's contact... Let's contact Barry. Hello, Barry Younger. What can be done for you? Um, we are going to Aruko. Do you like to join us? I apologize. I sometimes have trouble with the language. Uh, you call me for purpose? Yes, I want to hire you. How long you want me to work? Uh, one week would be fine. So that's 4,800. This is nice. We have reached simultaneous agreement. Count me as part of your team. All right, good. Uh, now we do have 7,400 left. Can I get Igor for this? It would be very cool if I could also get Igor. Uh, hi, Igor. This is Igor Dolvich. This is Abby. We are going to a roll call. Do you like to join us? I am sure you know of my uncle, the great Ivan Dolvich. Well, I am his nephew then. Okay, I guess this means you like to join us. What kind of contract do you require? One week with equipment, that sounds good. We have the funds, okay, let's do this. I heartily endorse this contract. Nice. All right, cool. And uh, yeah, let's let's uh, leave a message, I guess. You've reached my video voicemail. Leave me a message. 
and Gumpy, if this is you, leave another message like the last one and I'll send you a reply that explodes on impact. I'm not kidding. Because Buns is pretty, pretty amazing. Okay, we left a message, so I hope she will come back. And uh, yeah, now we do have five mercs, including myself. So we have a Spider as our medic, Wolf, pretty aggressive, Barry and Igor, pretty good um, soldiers. They they have lots of potential with their high wisdom, so they they might improve a lot. Same goes for for Spider. I also do have some potential to improve, so this is pretty cool. And um, yeah, history. Accept an assignment from Enrico. You need to deliver a letter to Miguel. We generated our IMP profile and we hired four soldiers. Okay, let's shut down the laptop while we already spend, spend some time uh, getting everything ready. But I think we should go to a murder. We should do, we should have some action at least in this episode that something happens here. Okay, they are all in transit. We will arrive in or murder in just a second. So let's do this. Okay, tactical screen. Um, movement, side, attacking, items, keyboard. So there, there are plenty of movement and stunts. Shift space selects next squad member. Stealth mode. Okay, I'll bring cursor, exchange places. Stealth, that is stealth mode. Alt that toggle stealth mode for entire squad. Auto bandages, burst mode. Cycle through enemies. Opens keys panel, map screen, M brings map screen, okay. Options, wireframes, treetops. Performance quick save. Game version, exit the game. No, no, I don't want to exit the game. Okay, thank you. coming in. Now we gotta find this Miguel guy. All right, we arrived with a we are pretty in territory occupied by our enemies. I salivate in anticipation. Really? Okay. So let's go for stealth mode for everyone. Let's uh, get everyone down a bit. Ah. Yeah, I arrived with a pretty strong team, which is cool. So good. Let's Standing by. Move them out gotcha. a bit. I knew they'd show up sooner or later. Oh, hi. Okay, wolf. So uh, let's let's get everyone off stealth mode. Then let's look into this direction. Okay, let's let's go prone and see if we can hit this guy. I can. I mean, this is not ideal because I, I would need cover. So this is why I wanted to send everyone here to the sandbags. But unfortunately, I can't. I can't do this one. Oh, I couldn't do this one before this guy uh, turned up. Yeah, we are in combat and um, every, everything is important. Cover is important, so the more cover you have, um, the uh, harder it is for you to get hit. Uh, with the stance, you are harder to hit and you get an accuracy bonus also. You see here right now the, the, uh, the target is flashing. This means I'm out of weapon range. Uh, if, it, if, if it wouldn't be flashing, I would be in weapons range. Can Can I... 
Can I find out this fearsome looking Italian semi-automatic assault shotgun has been banned in several countries. Okay. High damage, short range, no burst, small. Where's the range? Range is 13. So it's 13 tiles basically. Um, he's out of range. I can't get close enough. And yeah, then you see the, the circle around the, the target by I can basically aim. I can uh, use more more points on aiming and that's what I do. I hope Wolf will hit this guy. So let's see. Okay, unfortunately Wolf missed this guy. And now five points. Yes. This is not good. Okay, Barry. We now need to move a little bit into position. We are unfortunately not seven. How much do we need to aim? 11. Like to get at least one shot at this enemy. Let's move toward this guy. 11. Okay, no, no. Let's wait. First, let's look into the direction of this guy. Then go prone. Okay, now, now let's aim carefully. Okay. Standing by. So now it's my turn. Ooh, he's he's in range. Nice. Let's move a bit. Let's look into this direction. Go prone. Okay, he's even in range. This is fantastic. Let's aim. Ooh, beautiful. Unfortunately, I'm not having yes. enough points. Then we do have spider. Okay, spider, you can go here. Go prone. Okay, now let's aim carefully with you. Ah, okay. Well, this, this ah. was not great. This was not great at all. Can I get... Okay, I can get eager into the right position. Let's aim. Okay. And go prone. So yeah, this this was not a great great round. This guy's still alive. I hope he will not hit us. Let's see. Ooh. Comes with the territory. Pedro Ooh, Lord must have been with me. Ah. And as you just saw, this guy went behind this this uh, exploded car. So we don't see him, which Standing which is also by. a thing, um, which is important, line of sight. Okay, let's aim again at this guy. I hope I can finish him. Oh. Nice. Target dispatched. Uh -huh. Indeed. Okay, so here's a guy. Let's see. Let's get Wolf up. Um, yeah, let's move Wolf Trap. here. Oh, okay. Let's get Wolf down. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have the ah. points. Igor. Okay, Igor sees him now. Let's see if we can hit him. Ooh, Igor. Okay, we can have another snap shot without aiming. Ah. Igor. Rock and roll. Indeed, rock and roll. Standing by. Rock and roll indeed. Alright, let's uh Carefully move forward. Yes. Let's move spider here. Yes. And Barry, you can go here. All right. Yes. Standing by. Okay. Let's see. How far can we go? Let's move here. Go prone again. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll. we'll very carefully move forward. You can take her behind this ah. thing. Eager. Can go here. Yes. Spider. I think you should be safe behind the building. So let's go here. Yes. And Barry. Let's get you here. Okay. Okay. Yes, forces are in hiding, but are still close. Standing yeah, by. I knew they'd show up sooner or later. All right, so they just run into us. That's fine. Okay, this one is out of range. What is the weapon range of my weapon? It's 20. Not sure what this is, but I think I should be rather close. Let's see. Can I, if I 
get here, then... Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay, let's, let's aim. Ooh, nice. Good uh -huh. shot. Okay. Uh, you need at least 12. So I can't... Could move you here. Then go crowd. Then go prone. Okay, good. Let's see. Can you hit him? Okay. Okay, yes. now, now he went prone too. Let's get Barry here to the corner. Unfortunately, you don't see him from there. Um, ah. Igor. Let's see, where do you see? Okay, here you see him. You need two points to to get prone. I, I like to take a shot from here and later on get prone. I could also get on top of the roof and try to then see them from above but yeah i mean we're not really in a good position we haven't had really the time to to really move out to get into a good position because we just landed here in this open rear but yeah let's see let's see if i can maybe hit him again unfortunately not so let's go down yes spider is pretty far away let's get spider here and there she should be safe yes mm. I mean, I could get Barry here, but then there's no chance to aim. So let's let's just end it here. But well, I can look into this direction. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Yes. All right. Standing by. Okay, since he is in range from me, let's see. Okay, let's aim again. Come on, finish him. Okay, this is bad. Uh -huh. Wolf, not in range. Okay, let, let's see. I hope you can hit him. Ah, okay, bad. Ah. Very bad. Let's get Igor a bit closer. So, nine. I think I can move here. And I need two to get down. Nice, Igor. Rock and roll. Rock and roll, indeed. All right, this was good. Yes. So let's get Barry Understand. here. Nice. Yes. And get Spider in here. Look through the door. Okay. Horses are in hiding, but are still close. The, the nice thing about the game is once you you are far away or you're not in combat, Standing you get by. into the the real time mode where you're not no longer Understood. dependent on your points, which is pretty cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, now we need to, to search yeah, for the it. enemy. Ah. His face Got is something there. Oh, first I kid. Yes. Nice. His face is a little bit. Yes. Risky because yes. it's so easy to run to an enemy and um, yeah, let's Understand. try this. Let's get Barry here. Yes. Okay, Understood. Spider over there. Standing by. Understood. Uh huh. Okay. Ah. Yes. All right. So. Let's yes. move Igor here. Yes. Understand. Yes. And yeah, I like to, to move them very careful. Okay. Standing by. Gotcha. And always give them cover because uh -huh. I'm not sure where, uh -huh. where the enemy is located. Yes. Ah. So it's super important to Good. be very careful. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. How we're doing, um, okay. Igor? Standing by. I'm not getting an enemy, which I really Understood. hope. Understood. Yes. I need to reload Igor. Okay. And yeah, I really enjoy all the all the things that I can go prone, that I can go crouch, that I can change the 
the direction they are looking in and um yes yeah all, all, the, all those things are super cool i could also get on the roof which might be a thing standing by Gotcha. Let's, let's move forward. Uh -huh. What's there? Bloody knife. Okay. I'm on it. Ah, good. Yes. Understood. Yes. Okay. Where? Where's okay. the enemy? I'm quite sure there's there's only one. One enemy left. Uh -huh. Okay. And we are now. Standing by. Searching Understood. for that guy. Yes. Okay. Ah, good. Oh wait, I, I did something good. Good that no enemy was here apparently. But Standing by. I should have been in uh, in stealth gotcha. mode because uh -huh. then okay, you don't hear yes. the footsteps anymore. Understood. Yes. Which is super okay. cool. Standing by. Once again, I find it a little gotcha. bit sad that. We don't have the cool music because the music is super dramatic. Ah. The the music really contributes to the Good. atmosphere. Yes. But well, content ID system of YouTube. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for that. Okay. Now let's check this corner. Yes. Okay. M. Ah, th this is a map. Okay, I see. Thought this. Oh, we got an email. No, no. I want to. I, I thought it would be a. A map map. <laughs> map of this 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 region so Standing say. by. Understood. Okay, uh -huh. where Where's this last We guy? have some inconveniences to uh -huh. dispose of. Uh -huh. Right. Standing Only by me who sees him. Not in range, so let's stop stealth mode. Do I still see him from here? This is a good question. I mean I see him through those windows, so I should also see him from here, I would expect. Nope. Okay. But let's look into this direction. Uh -huh. Wolf. Okay, in case he moves. Ah. Let's yes. get everyone to toward this building yes. so that we can hopefully enter this building. Yes. And spider, you can okay. go here. Okay, spider sees this guy, so let's. Oh, you still see him. Okay, this might be. Let's let's see. Let's see if this guy runs into us, does something. Ow! Ow! Damn. Ow! Okay. This is the thing I haven't anticipated. Standing by. All right. So he's 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 a good shot. Good. Unfortunately, Wolf is not seeing yes. him. Spider sees this guy, but only the head. Good shot, my friend. Good shot. All right, can't do much here. Uh -huh. Wolf, Wolf, you here? Do you then? Ah, now you see him. And you're in range. Okay, nice. Okay, come on, Wolf, finish him, please. Nice. Oh, That's it for targets, it. at least for this area. All right, no, no. Yes. Okay, spider, you need your. Standing by. I have met kit too. This is good. Spider's bandaged. It's bandaged myself. All right, good. Wow, this guy. This guy was uh, was surprising. <laughs> Okay, I think we need to go. He I need to go here Understood. to talk to someone. Yeah, now comes uh, the the uh -huh. other important thing about the game. We now need to I'm check all it. the the yes. buildings if we can find some Understand. Ah. some good supplies. Yes. Understood. Yes. Right, then you can go Understand. here. Ah. You can Push. get here. Uh -huh. Wolf can okay. get in here. And um, yeah, as you, as you saw, cover cover is super important. I, I thought I, I haven't expected that this guy. Um, 
Okay, so here's something we can still open. No, here's nothing to open, yes. nothing to check. Understand. This, everything has been looted here. This has been looted. Let's see okay. if this guy dropped something. Uh -huh. Here's nothing to check. Okay. Get wolf here. Yeah. Understood. Spider here. Ah, look there. Beretta and knife. Nice. Yes. Yeah, let's get Barry here. Let's get Eager yes. here. Uh -huh. I just want to see if something is in those buildings okay. we can use. Yes. Okay. It's bad that Spider got hit, so we we need to then uh, heal her before we can move on. Yes. Okay. Here's nothing. Let's get Barry here. Yes. Understood. Uh huh. Okay. Oof. What's this? Oh, we got a coach. Okay. Yeah. Spider can then okay. go here. Ah. Here's nothing. And you can Good. go up there. Have we checked everything? Oh, down there's a building. Haven't checked. So who's doing? Here's ah. someone. Oh no. Uh -huh. Wolf. Okay. You here. Yes. Understood. Spider. Okay. Ah. All right. In this building is nothing. And I need to check yes. this building down there. What's this? Uh -huh. Crowbar. Nice. Could be something for Wolf. I'm on Pick it. it up. What's this? Wire cutters. Nice. Okay. Okay. I got Crowbar and wire cutters. Th this is a great find. I'm on so it. Let's check this this box. Nothing. Okay. Here's nothing. So now only this building is left. Okay, and here's nothing either. So let's let's get yes. everyone. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Everyone here. I'm on it. Yes. Okay. Let's uh, standing by. Let's talk to Fatima. Why are you here? Enrico sent us. How could it be that you were sent by Enrico? He has been dead for more than ten years. But he's alive. He, we we had a meeting, and now he ordered us or he hired us to free Enrico. You want me to believe that you are working for a dead man? I would suggest that you leave Omerta before you yourself become one. Well, lady, I do have a letter. Hmm. A letter from Enrico Chivaldori. He has not forgotten us. Very few people are aware that he's alive. As far as most of the people in Auruko are concerned, he was murdered over a decade ago. We had given up hope of ever hearing from Enrico again. Who would believe that someone living in the comforts of exile would care about this dismal country? Very well then. Follow me. Do not make any quick moves. Miguel's men will be nervous. You do not wish to intimidate them. The Drana has brutally bombed and attacked us for over two straight months. All right. So before we follow her, let's go to this screen here we can go for the inventory of the sector. Okay. We got we got a beretta. I think this could be something for Igor. Unfortunately we have no ammunition for it, but for now I can give this weapon to him. He has some basic medical knowledge, so let's give him the the aid kit. Can also have the the throwing knife. K 
Okay, then we got the the coach. Unfortunately, we also have not enough ammunition for it, but let's give it to to Barry so that he can uh, use this at least for a bit. And uh, what knife and wire cutter I will take. Okay, now we got got everything from this sector so far. We got an email, but I think I will check this email later. Gotcha. So now we need to, to follow Fatima. Standing by. Yeah, it was it was a little bit unfortunate that this first oh, this, this one guy, the last guy, was really lucky with the shots. That he hit two of us. Okay, I think we need to to leave the sector. Oh, Uh, yeah, all mocks. Standing by, understood. So let's continue following Fatima. Understood. Understood. Understand. Understand. Understood. Understood. I really like the team. The only bad thing Understood. right now is a bit we are not having much ammunition. So ammunition might be a little bit of a problem for at least for now. Understood. Why have you brought them here? Have you lost your mind, woman? You bring death to all of us. They have been sent by Enrico Civaldori. They're here to help us, Dimitri. They must speak with Miguel. I would never bring them here without proof of this. In respect of your husband, I take your word. We will go down. But if you make mistake, Fatima, you will die with them. Not very friendly, I guess. All right. Do not move, and no one will die. Okay. The teamers say they are here to help us. She says she have proof, Carlos. Enrico has enlisted mercenaries to aid us in the struggle. I have a letter addressed to Miguel. It is signed by Enrico himself and contains details of the night we helped him flee, Auruco. Details only he would know. Enrico? Chilvatori? Most suspicious. I question his reasons. I do not. Let me see this letter. Here. Hmm, it be true. Enrico has sent men to help us. On behalf of my rebel force and the people of Arulco, I welcome you. We are very much in need of your aid. Diana wishes to remove Omerta from the map of this country. She is evil, a driven bitch. That will do, Ira. I am sure our friends have heard of her nature. If not, they will know soon enough. We are ready to undertake task at hand. I have lost over 30 men in the last month. My force is down to the people you see here. But... I do have a few trusted people living in the Arulco countryside. The people of Arulco would overthrow Didana with pleasure, but they live in fear of her, and rightfully so. She be heartless and brutal. She has robbed our country of its money and its soul. Getting their confidence be our biggest problem. The people must feel we are capable of defeating her. Yet, without their support, we cannot. We are missing soldiers and equipment. You could not have come at a better time. We are short of food too, Miguel. We need safe passage to Drassen, or more people will die. Yes. Carlos be my close advisor. He is right. He usually be right. Making a safe route to Drassen to get supplies be a priority. If you can remove Didana's forces from your path, there is a priest in Drassen named Father Walker. He be a drunk of poor judgment. However, he will be sympathetic to our situation. Find him, and tell him no more than you need to. I will send others to fetch the supplies he will gather. I wish you luck. 
and express my gratitude. All right. So, hello, Miguel. Glad and super happy that you trust us. I have faith in us. Victory will come. Totally agree with you. We have nothing to talk about. But, uh, Miguel, do you like to join us? It does not seem right at this moment. Okay. I can spare Ira. She is quick learner and knows the priest well. I believe he might even have some passion for her. I see. Okay, Fatima. The children and the people of Omerta have put their faith in you. We wish you the best. Do you like to join us? Me? No. My children are in need of me. Okay. Then we have Dimitri. Yes. Who are you? I cannot be of more help. You cannot? Why? I do not have time. I see. Carlos. What can I do for you? Who are you? Our people are suffering in hunger. You must do something. It cannot continue without the loss of more life. All right, do you like to help us? The time is not right. I am needed in Omerta. Hmm. Okay. Any other tips, suggestions? We are grateful for your presence. All right. Ira. I'm Ira. I came to a roll call five years ago as part of an effort to supply humanitarian aid. I soon realized the only aid they needed was in getting rid of Deidreana, by whichever means possible. Okay. And uh, what do you think about the conflict in general? Miguel's rebel force has been together for almost two decades. They are trustworthy and loyal. They will accept you as one of their own as long as you do no harm. I definitely will not do any harm. The people of Arulco have forgotten what freedom is. Okay. So uh, Miguel said you would join us. All right. I could be of help with some of the ins and outs of this country and its people. But I must tell you, I'm not a professional like you guys. I'm okay. afraid my marksmanship is a little weak for a soldier. Miguel used me mostly as a medic and a lookout. Anyways, I'm sure we'll make out okay. Let's get going. I'll lead the way. You do. All right. So, um, this is cool. Now we got... You got my ear. Hmm. Ooh, TNT. Hmm. And ammunition, nice. Alright, so let's I'm on it. I'm on out of it. here. Standing by. And uh, yeah, we are we're now properly introduced. You got my ear. Let's see, there are there are some more buildings Roger. to explore. Let's do this. Yes. Understand. Uh-huh. I'm on it. Yes? Spider. Understood. Standing by. And I. Understood. You got my ear. All right, here's nothing. Object. Okay. Roger. Eager from ah. something. Where's Eager? Eager, where are you? What have you found, Eager? I don't see that we found something, but we apparently have found something. Okay, um, hmm. so then this building, Good. I guess, is still unexplored. Standing by. Understood. And I guess there's not much to be found in. Understood. In this one is completely destroyed. Uh -huh. Ooh, there's a chest. Hmm. Ooh, some more wire cutters, I'm nice. Hmm. And a first aid kit, amazing. Okay, yeah. here's some okay. uh, some space I haven't explored yet. Understood. All right, so I guess we we explored all the standing by the buildings. Let's maybe yes. meet Understand. in the center of the village again. Uh -huh. I'm on it. Yes. Spider Understood. here. You got my ear. Roger. Ira. Who's missing? Ah. Eager is missing. And let's get Eager here. Standing by. 
All right, as soon as everyone is there, I will go to the map. And uh, yeah, then we do have the problem of uh, that we need to heal and our next goal is go to Dresden. So we will go to Dresden next time, I guess, I hope. And for now, I think I will I will just do some inventory management and um, start the uh, the healing process, and so that we can continue next time. All right, let's go to the map first. No, no. First, let's go to the inventory. Okay. So um, nine millimeter pistol ammo. Ooh, some money. Wire cutters, first aid kit. And oh, wait, before I do this, let's reload here and just to be prepared for this. Wolf, I think you can have some wire cutters. Okay, you can you can reload your your weapon. I got some some uh, some ammunition for Barry. This is nice, and I got some ammunition for for Eager, which is cool. Okay, uh, Barry, you're good at explosives, so you get the TNT, and uh, who got the medical kit? Okay, you have one. Let's give it to Barry. All right, this is nice. Let's quickly check our email. You have new mail, nice. No, no, not web, email. Enrico, just wanted to say that my thoughts are with you. Best of luck, best of luck. Remember, remember to seek out Miguel and deliver my letter to him. Already did this. I'm sure you will find him invaluable. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good. He seems to be a decent guy. All right, so let's shut down the... Okay, now train. Let's, let's let you practice marksmanship. Eager can practice marksmanship. Ira can also practice marksmanship for now. I unfortunately do have to be a patient. Spider, Doctor, and Wolf can no, no, not repair, but cancel. Practice marksmanship. Okay, everyone is practice or doctor patient. And with this, I think we are at the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, next time we will uh, first heal and then start walking to Dresden so that we can take the airport. This is a very important step. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I will see you in the next episode. Until then, my name is Zeppi. See you!